Hey guys, how's it going? It's Cold All Good here, aka the Suburban Ginger. I'm yeah, back. baby! I'm back yeah. for the back nine of round two of the Golf Club Open at Caramel Creek, a PGA Tour event on the Golf Club 2019 featuring the PGA Tour. Before we jump in and see how we fare uh, as the tournament nears the halfway point, before we do that, let's go ahead and go for six likes on the six likes on this video leave me those thumbs up post your comments down below click my logo click the bell get the notifications on subscribe so you can follow all the action let's look over to the leaderboard let's see we are tied for seventh three under through nine eight under for the tournament just two shots back of dean burmester of south africa and this star-studded leaderboard matt kuchar jason day ryan moore ricky fowler and all good is right in the mix and just about to uh, tee off on this par three hole number 10 a lovely par three over the water here down playing down wind today caramel creek all good, going with a six iron. Thinks he can use the wind to his advantage. And he has guessed correctly. A very nice, safe shot. Leaving him a good chance for birdie. And that next putt is going to be an epic one, that's for sure, but they're on the green. Yep, big swing and putt here from left to right. 24 feet for his birdie. Ah, not quite. Five feet to go here. There we are. Our putt will drop. And three under for the day after that one. And that also means he is tied for seventh place. Projected cut here is plus five. Okay, now moving on to the 11. All right, hole number 11. Through the trees here. 415 yard par four. All good with drive. Well, so far so good for this one. Puts that one out there very nicely. And a good, sh good spot, a good spot. <laughs> and from 150 yards out. Here we go, 151 yards to this uh, kidney-shaped green, pin close to the front. All good going with nine iron. That one's on a good line. Will it stay? Oh, just gonna roll off the false front down to the very front portion of the screen. Well, I think he's gonna like that. 27 feet to the cup. Okay, he's gotta go up the swale here to the proper level. 27 feet, but one foot uphill. Good speed, good speed, good four. And now let's uh, take a look and see how things are going on the leaderboard. Okay. And after that one, staying steady at seventh place in the standings. Yeah, so Colin Moore Cowan now in the lead at 12 under. Got a few holes to play. Gavin Green right there in second. Burmester's fallen to a tie for second as well. And the wind definitely could be a factor on this one. Let's see how this tee shot goes. All right, got a par five here. Playing into the wind. Robert staying in contention with driver. I'm pretty sure he's gonna like that one. From here, about 230 yards to the pin. Okay, so we've got a 
tree to contend with here. I'm going to try to fade it around there with a three wood. And here's the three wood. He came out taking this through some brush here. Right through the tree. Not what he wanted. He's got a, a touchy little shot here. Not much green to work with. Has to pick it clean up over a bunker and land it close. Here we go. The right distance is key here. Yeah, played a pretty safe shot there. It's a good shot there. And this putt is for birdie. All right, he's got himself a relatively straight putt, slightly downhill for birdie. Very nice. And a decent little putt there. And after that one, uh, four under is the score for the day. And he's currently tied for fourth place there on the leaderboard. Go. Just two shots back now, holding steady. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. Hole 13. We're looking at uh, 165 today, but very much straight into this wind. We'll get clubbing up to a six iron. And here's the six iron. And heading for the green. Ooh. Excellent judge of the wind. And with that, he's on the green. And about 10 feet to go here. All right, just outside left for another, for back-to-back -back birdies here on the back nine. Oh, oh goodness, that was, that was almost in. Just misses on the low side again. Look at that go. This one's about 10 feet from the cup. Definitely got some more work to do here for his par. Ten feet. Oh, well done. That putt's going to drop for par. Another good comeback par save. And currently sitting at four under for the day. And he's currently tied for fifth on the leaderboard. And teeing off on this par four. The 14th is a medium length par four, but playing as the hardest hole on the course. A little bit easier today because it is playing downwind and all good with driver looking for another fairway. Looking to stay in the hunt. Well, I think this one's going to find a short grass. And about 160 yards to the pin. Okay. Uphill approach like so many of the holes here at Caramel Creek. All good going with almost seven iron. Looks like a seven iron. That one this might be a bit too much right. club. Just over the flag, but a little too strong. And that'll play safely on the dance floor there. And this pot is for birdie. Okay. So, gradually turning from left to right, 30 feet, but very much downhill. Just hit it for the break. <laughs> oh, I thought no, that no, was no, no, no. <laughs> Just smashed that putt. Uncharacteristic of him. And this for the par. Can he convert again? Just grinding by trying to save these pars. No. Oh my goodness, just missed. Was not to be. And about five feet from the cup. And that one will drop for the bogey. And it looks like he uh, moved down in the rankings after that hole. 
Yeah, so a bogey there will drop him down to a tie for eighth. Four shots back of Burmester. And now setting up for the next par four hole. All right, four to go. Got to stay to the right-hand side on this hole. Going with driver. Three hundred and six yards. And about 105 yards to the pin from here. Big man. This is perfect sand wedge territory for him going right at that TV tower. Trying to hit it close. This one's heading for the green. That's exactly what he wanted to do right there, folks. And he's on the green. From here, it's about 11 feet to the cup. I always expect him to hit it close when he's got wedge in hand. This to bounce back. This is looking quite good. There it is. And that one goes in with a bird. And he's moving in the right direction, moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Okay, so with that birdie, goes up to a tie for fifth. And he's got three holes to play. And setting up on the 16th tee. Another and sweeping uh, nicely draw. Nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. A little sweeping draw, putting it in the right-hand side of the fairway. Over 300 yards again. Have a great day off the tee from about 120 yards. Just trying to take advantage here. Pins in a pretty tight spot. But if anybody can get there with a wedge, it's all good. Here we go. Going with a pitching wedge here. Starts it out left, it's working back. And another pretty good shot, might get some rollback. Oh, that's nice. Getting better all the time. Judged it well. Well, you'll probably like that. And this putt's for birdie. Okay. So, out to the left. 13 feet for birdie. Another one. And just oh. missing. Just missed on the left. This putt's about five feet from the cup. And that one drops for par. And currently sitting at four under for the day. And he is currently tied for fifth place on the leaderboard. Okay. And let's see what the 17th has in store. 561 yard par five. Big one over the bunkers to the center of the fairway. Here we go. He's ripped that. Will it carry? This one's looking like it's in the fairway. Yes, it does. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. All good's in it. That special place. Looks like we're going driver off the deck to get there in two. Here we go. Oh, he's come over that. That's bunker bound. Ugh. And it's not attractive. Probably not too happy about that one. No. All right I'm now, not. setting up in the sand trap. Why? Why would I flop it? You know what? Time to pitch it out. Hardest shot in golf, the 50 yard bunker shot. Here we go. Might end, uh, might end up with a birdie after all. Very nice sand shot, and I'm thinking that a birdie is definitely on the table. Okay. Just outside left for birdie. Another one. And that one drops. Come on. He's done it again. And currently sitting at five under for the day after that one. 
just and one. He's currently tied for fourth up on the leaderboard. Just one hole to go here, and just two back of Burmester and Cameron Smith. And as he tees off here on the 18th hole, he is only two strokes off the lead. Let's see what happens. Just doing exactly what he needs to do. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. Just a driving clinic today at Caramel Creek. Okay, from 160 yards away. 160 to the green, pin all the way front right. All below his feet. Got to compensate for that wind. All good going with 7-iron. Trying to let it work. And going with the, the seven left. iron on this one. And it appears to be this doing one's so. looking pretty good. This is this is looking very good. Oh, that's tasty. That's All a right, tasty and the shot coming out now. In about six feet to go here. We'd love to finish with a birdie. But it doesn't. Oh my gracious, that was close. Ugh. Not what you want. And this putt's for par. And now he's got some work to do here for par. Finishing this hole with a solid putt. Maybe some early nerves there from all good. And Luke, he looks to be in fairly fine form out there today as his round comes to an end, wouldn't you say? Well, they certainly haven't blown their chances of the victory through the opening 36 holes. I'm looking forward to what they do over the weekend. I reckon they could do this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure Who to bring knows? the coverage to you today, but make sure you tune in tomorrow. Thank you, guys. As they said, all good's in contention. He's right there among some of the biggest names in golf. As you can see, just one shot behind him, John Rahm has entered the chat here, the Spaniard, and Justin Thomas right behind him. Some big hitters on the top of the leaderboard here, but Cameron Smith and Dean Burmester lead at the halfway point. All good, just two shots back. Thank you guys for watching. We'll come back soon for round three. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Love to see those likes on the video. Love to see your comments down below. Love to see you follow me on social media at Suburban Ginger. Love to see you just keep swinging.